Hello guys, in this video we'll create a chat application using bidirectional gRPC streaming in Rust. So let's get started. First of all, move to your project explorer where we'll add a few files today. Inside the proto directory, add a chat.proto where we'll add our protocol buffer or schema for our gRPC and client.rs where we'll add client side code, servers.rs where we'll spin up our gRPC server and build.rs where we'll add a few lines of code for code generation from our protocol buffer to our Rust code. So let's begin. First of all, move to chat.proto and let's add our protocol buffer. So add the syntax as proto3 and package as chat. Then let's add the message. So the message we'll pass and receive today will be the same, which is a chat message as string as message and string from as string. So if you want to add more properties, you can, but I'll just stick with two. And then we'll add our service. So chat service, RPC, chat message streaming. And here we'll pass a stream of chat message. And then we expect in returns a stream of chat message. That's pretty much uh, it for our protocol buffer. Now let's add our build.rs. So here we'll add a main and it returns a result of unit or box of dynamic std error error. And then here we'll just say tonic build, which we'll add in a minute. Compile protos and proto slash chat dot proto okay now let's go to cargo terminal so we add this along with all of our other dependencies that we need today so the first dependency that we need is tonic with latest version prost with latest version tokyo with version as latest and features as full and then we need Tokyo stream with latest version. Then we need async stream with latest version. And then we need future util with latest version. And then we'll add build dependencies. Here we'll add tonic build with latest version. And then we'll add a couple of binaries to spin up our uh, client and server. So bin name is grpc server and path as src server.rs and bin name as grpc client path as src slash client.rs and then we'll build our dependencies so as you guys can see all the dependencies are added the error in build.rs is gone because we added our dependency the build dependency now let's go ahead and first of all add our server site so in our server.rs first of all make sure to include our proto and then all of these usages or dependencies because we'll be using all of these and now let's get started with the coding so pub struct chat server and ser derive as debug and then we will just add a type so here we'll just say response screen as bin box dynamic stream and item is equals to result and chat message status plus and send so once we add this type we'll add a chat result type so we'll just say type chat result t and result as response t and status now let's impel our code generation for rpc for our chat server 
so here we'll just say impul uh, pb and chat ser chat service server chat service for our chat server and here we will just on top of it we'll just say tonic async trait and then we'll implement the members so the type will be the response stream that we have and here we will add our code for streaming from the server side first of all we'll replace this with uh, the response type that we added the chat result so let's replace it and here we will remove this part and we'll just say chat result of self chat message streaming stream and after which we'll just add a mutable stream in stream request dot into inner let tx rx mpse channel 128 and tokyo spawn async move and let's add our code so while let some result is equals to in stream dot next dot await uh, will match the result and if it's a okay item then we'll just first print saying received from so here we'll just say item dot message and item dot from so whatever we receive from our client side we'll print here and then we'll send a reply so we'll just reply tx dot send okay and check message so in the message on the server side what we'll do is uh, whatever we receive from the client side we'll just append or format something like add some server or other stuff and then we'll return as it is but on the client side we'll literally check user input every time we want to send the message so stick around and server so basically whatever we receive from the client side we just append server and then we return as a message and in the from we just do string from server side and right here with unwrap we'll do await and unwrap and as we have okay we'll also have a error with status so we'll just print an error whatever it is and then we'll just break out and once we're done we are out of our match and out of our for loop or while loop and then we'll just print chat session and it We'll just reply so out receiver stream new rx and okay response new so box pin out as self chat stream so this will just send in the in the response and this we don't need now let's go ahead and spin up our server so just Tokyo man async and let server is equals to chat server print uh, server starting it and server builder at service 
so pd chat service server and chat service server new and pass the server then we'll just serve and here we'll add the url actually we want to do await and unwrap so here we will just say on localhost 50051 and to socket address dot unwrap dot next dot unwrap and at the end we just return ok of unit and then here we will add result of unit or box dynamic std and error error so that's pretty much all that we need on the server side where we have code for spinning up our grpc service and then we have a function which handles our bi-directional streaming and whatever it receives as a message basically append server and returns and let's go ahead and build our client side which will more easily simulate our chat application because we'll be taking user input there so on the client side just make sure to pause here and add all of these uh, imports and also include your proto now i add these before i start coding in client or server side because the dependencies are a lot and sometimes uh, i mean different dependencies are imported for you than me and then you guys might feel uh, some problem so that's why i import it first and then we can code along so now let's go ahead and start coding so pub async fn input and string so here we'll first of all take user input and we'll just say type something uh, let mutable input string new so let stdin io stdin now as you can see even here we are using tokyo io instead of uh, from stdin directly so that's a that's the purpose of adding the imports first so you guys know it before making any mistake so mute in and string new actually we have string new so we'll just say let mutable reader buff reader uh, new pass our stdin and then here we'll just say reader dot read line whatever user types just read it and mutable input await dot accept fail to read line Here we'll just say input dot trim dot to string. So that's pretty much for our input. Now let's add the code for streaming from client. So async fn chat client and mutable chat service client channel let tx and rx and mpse channel of let's say 128 is the buffer size and then we'll just say in stream receiver stream new rx and tokyo spawn async move and here we will loop and take the input so let user message input dot await let message is equals to chat message and what we'll do here is when the let's say when if user message dot ignore uh, sk case if it's exit then we will break and else 
we will continue to do what we are doing so in the message we will just add user message and in from we will pass client so if user types exit then we finish the chat otherwise we just continue so or if let's say tx dot send message uh, await dot is error if there is any error then also break and after this we'll just say let response client dot chat message streaming request new in stream and await dot unwrap so let mutable response stream response dot inner stream while let sum receive and response stream dot next dot await and if that's the case then we just do let item receive dot unwrap and we just print saying received from so here item dot message and item dot from so that's pretty much it for the client side stuff that we have to do just need to connect to our server so here we'll just say tokyo main and async again just like server side return here a result unit or box of dynamic std error and error so let mutable client uh, chat service client connect so here we'll just say http and one five zero zero five one and await dot unwrap print client start it and call the chat pass the client Wait and return a OK of unit so that's pretty much all that we need to add on the client side now let's go ahead and test our application but first of all let's remove this actually we don't need future utils so we can remove this as well now let's go ahead and test it so first of all open your terminal and here we'll first of all spin the server side with cargo run and bin as grpc server as we defined right here so it will run server side as you can see print server started now let's run the client side okay as you can see it's stuck on uh, like type something and on this side there is nothing so let's type something hi so the server received hi from client and then replied hi appended server and then from server side then again we have typed something so let's say hello how are you again on the server side we received hello how are you from client and let's say we reply with exit and there you can see the chat finished on the client side and on the server side it prints chat session ended so that's a pretty amazing use case of bi-directional uh, grpc streaming which you can also try and maybe you can also add uh, user input on the server side as well so meaning maybe a client and agent communication so i hope you guys understand and learn something new if you do like the video share with your friends and i'll catch you guys in the next video with another interesting topic until then goodbye